Hello, <clears throat> today we're going to talk about ApoA1, ApoB. Now, <clears throat> let's go back and take a look at a picture, but before we do, just uh, a brief introduction. Ford Brewer with um, PrevMed Heart Attack Stroke Prevention. Now, <clears throat> this is a, a picture of an HDL particle and an LDL particle. Uh, <clears throat> This, the standard saying is that the only difference between these two is that LDLs are 20, is the, the percent or content. LDL particles are 25% or less protein. This is the protein component. And um, HDL particles are 50% or more protein components. And as you see, these other proteins are cholesterol and triglycerides. It's a little bit more complicated than that. <clears throat> in fact, the proteins that you see in these are slightly different. The proteins on LDL are called uh, apolipoprotein B, and the ones in the HDL are apolipoprotein A1. Apo, what, what, apo, what does that mean? So again, apo's short for um, apolipoprotein. Let's, again, like anything else, break it down and it starts to make sense. Apo is a prefix that means from, related to, completing, or part of. L lipo or lipo means fats or oils, uh, the cholesterol, triglycerides, fatty acids uh, <clears throat> that you saw in the lipoprotein. So, again, you've got protein, which is built to help the body transport blood safely. Remember we um, <clears throat> we use the example if we um, poured oil into a glass of water it would form a large bubble of oil. That large bubble would kill us and in fact does happen in um, what we call a fat embolus where people have, have big wrecks, break multiple bones, and fat comes out of the, the uh, bone marrow and can, cause, can be just as devastating as a heart attack or stroke. That's what lipoproteins are for. Now, apolipoprotein just means the protein itself, not the entire lipoprotein content, uh, complex. Now, the, there's another interesting thing to know about apolipoprotein. <clears throat> um, ApoA1 seems to be the, the protein that's con connected and used for all of the HDL particles. ApoB is the protein that's used for uh, very low-density uh, pro uh, lipoproteins, low-density lipoproteins, all the bad ones. And remember, the, real, the, the most dangerous is the, um, the small, dense version of these LDLs. How are those proteins different? They've coded the proteins, uh, ApoA1 and ApoB. There's significant differences between the two. ApoA1 is... Um, as I said, found in HDL pro, uh, particles. Um, it's cardioprotective. It helps us clear cholesterol from the artery walls. It also seems to be um, anti-inflammatory in effect, which makes sense if you're clearing cholesterol away from those artery walls. Um, <clears throat> it's also protective from dementia. So that's probably the, another reason why HDL particles help improve our health, are cardioprotective and dementia protective, whereas LDL particles, not so much. In fact, um, the small dense ones are a problem. There have been some interesting things that have been seen with uh, ApoA1 uh, mutations or, or single nucleotide SNPs, uh, polymorphisms variations in these proteins, genetic variations. There was uh, <clears throat> one <clears throat> called ApoA1 Milano. The individuals that had this version of ApoA1 tended to live 100 years. <clears throat> this was traced back 
to Giovanni Pomarelli, uh, who lived about an hour away from Milan. Uh, another one, which was not a healthy one, uh, E164X, five out of nine of those individuals will get um, premature cardiovascular disease. So, ApoA1 found in HDL particles, ApoB found in LDL particles. So if ApoA1 is healthy and ApoB is unhealthy, then you can actually start looking at a risk. And there's been research which indicated that that's very true. That's actually one of the things we'll look for. ApoB over ApoA, that ratio. With men, you, that uh, moderate risk cut points are 0.7 and 0.89. For women, they're 0.6 and 0.79. In other words, individuals with a lower ratio, in other words, a lower, uh, lower ApoB and a higher ApoA1 or some combination, are at lower risk. Individuals with higher cut points, females 0.8 or above, or males 0.9 or above, have higher risk. Thank you very much.